Dr. K, WEA Radio. Welcome to Shorty's Learning Tree. You got my intellectual property and you need to return it. That's my intellectual property. I respect you. You need to respect me. We went after people's FCC li licenses. I gave Dr. K this. A black reality. A can of whoop ass. Racism don't work without black co cooperation. And it ain't going to end without white participation. Within the penitentiaries, blacks have created an extension of the ghetto. I am Dred Scott. That's Dick Gregory and me. All right, a summer jams. Black lives don't matter. Black votes do, but these black people are dead. Their voices matter because they dead. We gotta vote for them. We gotta tell Kamala Harris and Asselbrook to vote for the George Floyd bill. Got a story called Shorty. I'm the video vigilante. I've been doing this since 2006. I've been in business since 1980, 1998. All right, I own me. We're talking about mass incarceration in your prison industry. Internal Affairs Division, 2010. Y'all came in my house and put guns to my head. You get my paperwork from the FBI, Department of Justice. All right, that's Richard McFeely. That's WEA Radio, Dr. K. I'm a winner of the 2021 Weaver Award winner, and I applied for Martin Luther King's job, and this is the day I did it. See that date, February the 2nd, 2011, at 8.53 a.m. That's Patrick Fitzgerald from the Department of Justice. All right, we're talking about a class action lawsuit because you did it to a class of people. Martin Luther King gave you letters from a Birmingham jail. I gave you letters designed about your prison industry. And I gave it to you on February the 2nd, 2011. February the 2nd, 2011. And these are the inmates. Governor Westmore got this information. We talking about Maryland's prison industry and mass incarceration. Mayor Brandon Scott, you got to turn this over before election day.